Congolese commandos return from the front lines around Goma as reinforcements move in to replace them. Government troops have an ugly reputation for being abusive, poorly trained and badly equipped. But the 42 battalion commando is supposed to be different. Trained by Belgian military advisers, the government ordered them to the front to stiffen up the often disastrously fragile defences outside Goma. We followed them to their forward positions a few hundred metres from M23 rebels, the force that captured Goma before withdrawing in a ceasefire agreement earlier this year. One of the problems was that M23 used to be with the Congolese forces, so after they defected, they still had a lot of friends on the Congolese side who were sympathetic to their cause. And that's why the government has decided to bring in this special force of commandos to make sure that there's troops here on the front lines with no connection with M23 at all. The rugged, bush-covered lava fields here are tough to fight in. Their spokesman acknowledged that their army, known as the FARDC, has had a problem with discipline. That was uh, in our past. Uh, we, we took all armed group uh, elements and we integrated them in our FRDC forces. Uh, that, that's why we, in the, few, in the past, we had so more soldiers who was very, very undisciplined. Dealing with that has been crucial, especially because these troops are now expected to fight alongside a new United Nations brigade under orders to disarm rebel groups by force if necessary. In the distance, M23 is clearly visible, dominating the strategic heights overlooking the city. Their view of Goma is very different. When we were fighting over there... The rebels have been struggling with internal divisions and military setbacks, but say they don't fear the new government forces. Wait and see. They are not uh, giving birth to new soldiers. The same, they are the same. The, to be fighting is not a matter of uh, only training, also discipline, and also the cause why you are fighting. That's the most important element. M23 and the Congolese government both insist they want a negotiated settlement. But with the two armies digging in against one another, fighting looks more likely than talking. Peter Grester, Al Jazeera, on the front lines around Goma.